Buzz number two. Saints here, I'm Jenna. And I'm Matt. And we've got the Vegito deck reveals for Power Absorbed. Yep. Yeah. Um, so. What that name? <laughs> yeah, again, still. I did it. I, I've given up on tra the trailer's not happening. No reveals for that. <laughs> Sad face. Um, yeah. Right. So, anyway, the, um, the leader. Stein on 20k. Um, but then it's got two autos. First one is when it's card attached, you draw a card. And then auto, if you have two or more energy at the start of any main phase, uh, draw two cards, add cards from your life to your hand until you have six left, and flip this card over. Right. So, what? <laughs> it's just like. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of just a forced change. Yeah. Uh, it's because it's like, um, it's when they go into Boo, isn't it? And then they remove their barrier and then they defuse. Yeah. Um, so then we go on to the Awakened side. <clears throat> so it's Goku and Vegeta. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> um,. So we got auto when this card attacks you draw a card. Auto was per turn when a card is placed under a spirit bomb uh, in your battle area. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards to switch it to rest mode. Okay, so yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, activate main. Uh, activate up to one spirit bomb from your deck and shuffle your deck and negate this skill for the game. Right. Okay. So you don't get the spirit bomb straight into play. Yeah. Um. You have to awaken and then do it, which, depending on how many spirit bombs you run in the main deck, that could be bad, because you don't want to run too many of it, but you don't want to run too little of it to have the risk of it being in your life. Probably, like... But if two. you run, you don't want to run, yeah, um, like... Even running two is like, it's like... <sighs> I think because you don't start with it, two is like the safe number, just so that you don't clog it. No, it's about as, yeah. Um, so we've got our first rare for the deck, which is Goku and Vegeta Ultimate Duo. So we've got Double Strike, 20k for cost. Uh, when this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, negate skills for turn and KO it. So you just negate and pop like most yellow does. And you got activate main limit one, pay yellow. If your leader is a Sun Goku or Vegeta, both yellow, and your opponent's two or more energy, you play this card from your hand. So, works for the leader, but it can go in their own decks. You can run it in Trunks Vegeta because it's Vegeta. You could run it in any Goku deck, or any yellow Gokus, which there isn't many, but it gives you an option because you can just play it regardless. So, not too bad. It was nothing too important. <laughs> Advertisement of free pizza. Oh. Right, free pizza. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> um, okay, crime, we'll move on to this card. <laughs> Randomly talk about your mail in the middle of it. Well, it says something about free medium pizza by claiming a code or something, I don't know. <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so we're not we... sponsored. <laughs> no, uh, so we got Vegeta. Uh, it's a forecast 15k unique blocker auto limit one. Uh, if you lead a card is a yellow Z leader. When this card is placed in your drop area by an opponent's skill, play this card from your drop with its non keyword skills negated for the game. Uh, activate main, pay yellow. If your leader is a uh, Sun Goku or Vegeta card, both yellow, and you have two more energy, you play this card from your hand. So you can just have one cost blocker, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and then we've got Vegeta buying time. See, so one cost for 4k power, it's got unique, uh, permanent, while to your leader is a yellow Sun Goku card, and there's six or few cards under Spirit Bomb. In the battle, this gains 11k. And when you play, you draw a card. Yeah. Uh, is this the first SR? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So eight cost Vegeta, Elf overwhelming might. Yeah, just a bloody bit. Uh, <laughs> it's got 15k power. 15k power and eight cost. 
What? <laughs> it's, it's cheap. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's a blocker counterplay. That this is going to take a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pernamut, during your opponent's turn, while your leader is a yellow, uh, your opponent has two or more energy, and you have two or more Z energy. Reduce the energy cost of his card in your hand by seven. Yeah. Right, okay. Auto, when this card is played from your hand, your opponent can't attack with non-leader cards unless you choose one of their active cards, uh, active mode cards and switch it to rest mode each time, and at the end of the turn, send this card to its owner's warp. Additionally, if your leader card is a Z leader, or you have a yellow Z battle card in play, your leader gains the following skill uh, for the turn. Permanent, negate all your opponent's strike skills for the turn. This card is beyond nuts. It is really good. And yellow just got an insane powerful generic card. Yeah. Um, you just play it out as a count play. You get this permanent, you get a blocker, which you just immediately throw because it's going anyway, so you just use it and it'll either die or just get warped. So. Yeah, and having a Z or a Z battle card in play, um, yeah, you can make that happen quite easily. Um, so. Yeah, th- th- uh, th- there's going to be a pricey card. <laughs> yeah. And we've got the Spirit Bomb. Oh my god, seven cost. Uh, it's field, no protection on it. That's bad. That is bad. Um, it's got Active Main. If your leader is a Sun Goku or Vegeta card, both yellow, and you switch this card to rest mode, look at three cards from the top of your deck, place it to one yellow battle card among them under this card, and place the rest of the bossmen in any order. For an active battle, if it's your turn, your Son Goku leader is in battle, and there are seven more cards under this card, use all of the battle cards from under this card in the combo, with their skills negate from the turn, then place them in the owner's drop, and then place this in the owner's drop. Yeah. Um. That activate main on the leader wasn't once per turn, was it? It's once per game. Once per game, even. Yeah, it is once per game. It is once per game. Yeah. Uh. This is like the issue is that it's not got any protection. Um, I know there isn't a lot in the game that gets rid of fields, but anything that can get rid of stuff in the battle area will get rid of this. Yeah. So. If anything, just literally is just a board wipe. Yeah. Um. Or just lets you target a card in the battle area. Of a high cost. <laughs> of a high cost. Um, I can't remember what cards particularly do that, but... Oh, uh, trying to think what cards specifically is annoying. Because it's so... Like, it's more of like blues mechanic than anything. It's about some of a higher energy cost than the opponent's energy. So long as it's targeting battle cards, you're safe. If not, um, you're losing the spirit bomb. <laughs> Yeah, the downside to it, it doesn't have that protection, so, if the, yeah. I mean, if this deck does take off, then obviously people are going to just side for it, but, yeah, it, without the protection, it, it does have that slight weakness. I know there's not a huge amount of card pull that can remove it, but still, there is always that risk. Yeah, decks that rely on the field, the field should have protection, because the deck is reliant on it. I wouldn't say it's so reliant, like it's more of a extra thing in the deck. It's not like the yeah. field has to be there for you to win. No, it doesn't, but like the leader card itself will lose out on its so like its active main will play this out and then its auto works with it. So that if you lose that then your auto doesn't go off, so you literally just have a yellow leader that just draws you a card and nothing else. Yeah, true. So. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Is this me? Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we got two cost for Vegito. Um, so it's activate main, it's got 15k power. If your leader card is Sun Goku or Vegeta card, both yellow, and you send this card to its owner's warp, play up to one Super Saiyan, Sun Goku, and Super Saiyan Vegeta ultimate duo from your deck with its keyword skills negative for turn and your deck. So that's that other card earlier on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the cost. one that's got a double strike and <clears throat> all that. <clears throat> oh, so we've got a Z leader, so it's Sun Goku Spirit Bomb Hope. Uh, it costs 2 Z energy. Z Awaken by paying yellow if your life's on 4 or less, and you are Yellow Goku. Uh, Z Stack, Yellow Goku Z leader with energy cost of 4. 
holds the energy cost for. So you find the specific card, place it underneath this one, and then that's stacked. Um, active main once per turn, place one card from your hand under a spirit bomb in your battle area, draw two cards. And then active main, if there are seven more cards under a spirit bomb in your battle area, remove this card from the game, place it to one Son Goku Z leader from under your leader on top of your leader. If you place the card, you may switch it to active mode. <laughs> Sorry, <we> swap, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you, you get rid of that and just swap in the stack, basically. <laughs> Into this one, the margin showdown one. Yes. And it's full cost. Oh, would you look at that? Um, but you get the, around it. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, basically, you should be out. Um, you should be using this activate main to do it, not it's four and four. Yeah, unless you don't run that. Because like, if you're playing it in a different Goku deck and you don't run Spirit Bomb, that's when you'd have to do it. Oh yeah, hard four, but yeah, that's a, it's a hefty cost otherwise. I'd say yeah, um, which is for, for a Z leader. Um, cause we've we've been I suppose we've been spoiled so far with costs of Z leaders. There yeah. hasn't been any that have been to this level. Yeah, we we've had very nice play like ones that are just so easy to play. Um. So yeah. Um. Ignoring all of that, so permanent. Uh, While well, there are seven or more cards in your combo area, and this card is in the battle, and negate the skills of all cards in your opponent's combo area. Um, that's very good. <laughs> yeah, because it's just a spirit bomb. <laughs> uh, auto, when this card is actually draw a card. Activate battle. If there are seven or more cards in your combo area, this card is in a battle. Uh, for the battle, this card gains double strike, and at the end of the battle, I'll remove this card from the game. How many times did I go with battle into that paragraph? Battle. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is obviously designed to be your end game push. You get your opponent down to a double strike range. Pray that they don't negate. <laughs> and then you combo seven cards from underneath your spirit bomb in this guy's attack. And gain double strike, and yeah. And gain. But, so ideally, you... Well, you definitely want to do this when you attack, and you ideally just want stuff that has, like, power when you combo it, not skills to gain power when you combo it. Just straight up, like, this is just a tank, like, this is a 10k, I don't have to pay the cost, because it's already in the combo area. It's not yeah. deal. As much power as you can get. I mean, even though you're turning off your opponent's super combos. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, you just got to pray they don't negate, but there's only so many negates they're going to have, so you basically just keep threatening this every single turn. It's like, well, you either keep negating it, or you're probably going to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, so <coughs> if you don't negate this, this will try and kill you, so you better just, like, hope that I die before you do. <laughs> there's only more cards. There is more cards. Plus there is. Um, so we got Super Saiyan 3, Son Goku, Universe at Stake. It's an SR, it's an 8 cost with 30k power, it's got Deflect. Uh, auto wins card attacks, choose one of the following. So, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barracks, switch to rest mode, or choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO it. Okay. Um, active main, pay to yellow. If your leader is a yellow Z leader, or you have free a yellow Z battle card in play, I don't know where I'm getting from. I'm where are you not. getting free from? It's underneath, that's why. Um, and your opponent has feel more energy. So if you're on the yellow Z leader, or you have a yellow Z battle card, and your opponent's free energy. You play this card from your hand, and if a yellow extra card is in your battle area, draw one card. I wonder which one it means. Um, and then active main that one, if all the cards in your battle area are in rest mode, switch this card to active mode. This could literally just be the only thing in your battle area when you do that. <laughs> Unlike uh, the spirit bomb. But. Yeah. That's okay, so that's, um, that could easily just become a new yeah. generic thing anyway just yeah because it's very powerful well yeah you just pay to have a yellow z battle card and just go okay here we go swing i like everything's a rest mode restand swing yeah um hercule rallying hope <laughs> okay then uh so it's a one cost with one z energy thousand power well they're being a bit kind for hercule aren't they it's, it's about standard <laughs> <laughs> should be one just a one <laughs> Uh, so we've got barrier, activate main, switch this card to rest mode, 
You may choose any number of your battle cards and switch them to rest mode. If you do, for each battle card switch to rest mode by your skill, other than this card, you may place the top card of your deck under a spirit bomb in your battle area. Right. Okay, it's good for the ramping of the spirit bomb. Yes. Um, but does the spirit bomb gain enough cards quick enough anyway? Well, the spirit bomb can look at top three and put cards underneath itself anyway. And then the leader does it as well, right? Um, the leader, I think it has a knock-on effect when you put something under the spirit bomb. Okay, but the... That requires seven, yes. Um, that one puts one underneath. Yeah, so that, that can help it as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It's got a stable amount of ramp. Yeah, it can... So, yeah, this can, can slightly speed up. I was just wondering if the deck has enough speed without it. Yeah. Sort of, um. And we've got Hercule expecting the unexpected. So, one cost, 1k power. It's got unique. Uh, two permanents. Uh, so, first one is this can't be carried whilst it's in rest mode. Second permanent is if your leader is yellow and has both Sun Goku and Vegeta. Uh, and you have a yellow Dende in play, reducing energy cost of this card in your hand by one. Oh, so you just play him out <laughs> if you have Dende and the leader. And an active main, switch to rest mode. You may choose any number of your battle cards and switch them to rest mode. If you do, for each battle card, switch to rest mode by the skill other than this card, you may place the top card of your deck under a spirit bomb in your battle area. So, same thing as the other one. Yeah, so they're exactly the same. It's just one has barrier, the other one has um, can't be carried in rest mode. Yeah. That one just feels better, but it's you need the Dende out to make it easy play. Yeah, and here's the Dende. Mm -hmm. So there's a one cast 4k, unique barrier, activate main once per turn. If you lead a card as the yellow Son Goku Z leader, and you send one of your yellow battle cards from your drop to your wall, play one earthling token. <laughs> that has barrier and the end your token. If it was a blocker? <laughs> The, the, I mean, I the suppose. Token as well only has 1k power and nothing else. It's li well, it's there just to be a um, a target target for these skills. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to use your other cards to do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we've got Margin Boo Desperate to Fight. It's a four cost for 10k power. It's got counter play limit one, plays card. Uh, permanent, if you have a yellow Hercule card in play, you can activate this card's count skill from your hand without paying its energy cost. And also, if you leave this yellow Son Goku card, when this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 4 less to switch to rest mode. Okay, so it's just a crush ball for the deck. Yeah, and then a 5k combo to go into your Z energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is pretty good. Um, Alright, so you've got Kabito Kai, Patora on display. Awesome. Uh, so it's one cost, 4k, auto, when this card is played, look at the top 5 cards of your deck, add up to one Saiyan or Earthling card, both yellow, and range cost of 4 or less, and one empty hand of your deck. So that's pretty much every card in the deck apart from the SS story. And then day. And then day. Alright then. Um, so two cards in your deck that can't be searched. Oh, and the Vegito. Oh, and the Vegito, yeah. Wait, really? It's an 8 cost. The, the oh yeah, the Fujito. Yeah, the yeah that Fujito. And you can't do B. And you can't. Okay, so there's a few targets in your deck that can't be searched. Then. Yeah. Um, but it still searches out the majority of the deck, which is mm. fine. Um, and then you got activate main limit one. If you lead a card, is Sun Goku or Fujita card, both yellow and have two or more energy, and you send this card to its owner's wall. Play up to one yellow battle card with energy cost of one from your deck with its skills negated for turn and shuffle your deck. Okay, that's very useful. Yeah. Get them out without. Using the energy, so that's basically it for the Vegito. Don't know. <coughs> the next thing is the Boo, yeah. which still hasn't been fully revealed yet because they revealed those promos. Yes. Um. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave any thoughts in the comments you have down below. Uh, Jonah, anything? No, I just think this deck is a bit of a gimmicky one. So it's like it probably works okay, but it's one of those that like you have to want it so um yeah all right then guys uh so hit that sub button and we'll see you next time bye bye bye